basic idea of geometry. Geometry has a long and rich history. The term geometry is the English equivalent of the Greek word geometron. Geo means earth and metron means measurement. Construction of magnificent palaces, temples, lakes, dams, cities, art and architecture propped up these ideas. Even today's geometrical ideas are reflected in all forms of art, measurements, architecture, engineering and cloth designing. Angle An angle is made up of two rays having a common end point. The two rays forming the angle are called sides of the angle and the common end point is called the vertex of the angle. Circle A circle is formed by points moving at a fixed distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is known as the center of the circle and the fixed distance is known as the radius. A circle is also a simple closed curve. However, it does not have any sides or angles. The line that forms the boundary of a circle is called its circumference. The part enclosed by the circumference of a circle is called the interior of the circle. The part left outside the circle is said to be the exterior of the circle. Some points may lie on the circumference of the circle. An arc is a part of the circumference of a circle. A chord is a line segment joining two points that lie on the circle. The part of a circle that is enclosed by a chord and an arc is called a segment of the circle which is further divided into minor segment and major segment. A region in the interior of a circle enclosed by an arc on one side and a pair of radii on the other two sides is called a sector. A chord passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter. The radius of a circle is half of the diameter. A diameter is the longest chord of a circle. A diameter of a circle divides it into two halves. Each half is called a semicircle. Intersecting lines If two lines pass through one point only, then we say that the two lines intersect at a point. Thus, if two lines have one point in common, then they are called intersecting lines. We can find examples of intersecting lines in our surroundings such as crossing roads form a good example of intersecting lines. Also two adjacent edges of a notebook is an example of intersecting lines. Line and line segment A line is a straight figure which has no thickness and extends in both directions endlessly or infinitely. Take a thin thread, hold its two ends and stretch it such that there is no slack. It represents a line segment. The ends held by hands of the boy are the end points of the line segment. So a line segment is a part of a line that has two end points. It is the shortest distance between the two points. We can see many examples of a line segment in our daily life. For example, edge of a brick, a tube light and a postcard Mark any two points A and B on a paper sheet. Try to connect A to B by all possible routes. What is the shortest route from A to B? This shortest join of point A to B, including A and B, shown here, is a line segment. It is denoted by AB or BA. The points A and B are called the end points of the segment. Parallel lines Two lines which do not intersect each other and which are at equal distance from each other are called parallel or non-intersecting lines. Parallel lines never meet, cut or cross each other. Let us look at this railway track. We find that both the tracks do not intersect each other and are at equal distance from each other, that is, they are equidistant. So, railway tracks form an example of parallel lines. 
The two lines M1 and M2 are parallel to each other. We write parallel lines as shown. Point. Let us take a pencil and mark a dot on a piece of paper. The image we get is called a point. Hence, a point is simply a dot. It determines an exact location. It has no size or no dimension. A point is generally denoted by a capital letter of the English alphabet like A, B, C and so on. For example, the sharpened end of a pencil stars in the sky appears to us as a point. Points can be joined in different ways to form different figures. For example, by joining two points by a straight line, we get a line segment. By three points, we get a triangle and many more. Polygon Take five matchsticks and join each matchstick to each other by one end to other end. The figure we get is a polygon. Hence, we define a polygon as a closed plane figure with three or more line segments. The line segments forming a polygon are called its sides. The meeting point of a pair of sides is called its vertex. This polygon has five vertices namely A, B, C, D and E. Any two sides with a common end point are called the adjacent sides of the polygon. For example, A, B and B, C are adjacent sides. The end points of same side of a polygon are called adjacent vertices. For example, A and B are adjacent vertices, whereas A and C are non-adjacent vertices. A diagonal of a polygon is a line segment joining the non-adjacent vertices of the polygon. Here in this figure, AC, BD, CE, AD and BE are diagonals. Some polygons with their number of sides are given here. Quadrilaterals A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. It has four sides and four angles. This quadrilateral a, B, C, D has four vertices, namely A, B, C and D. Four sides, A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. Also, it has four angles, namely angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. The sides A, B and C, D are opposite sides. Similarly, BC and DA are opposites. Angle A and angle C are said to be opposite angles. Similarly, angle D and angle B are opposite angles. Also, angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. Ray A ray is a part of a line. It has one end point. It starts at one point and goes endlessly in the other direction. For example, the light rays coming out from a torch are in the form of rays. If a line from N to M is extended endlessly in the direction of M, then we get a ray MN. It is read as the ray MN. Triangle We are already familiar with the pyramids of Egypt. Each face of a pyramid looks like a triangle. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. In fact, it is the polygon with the least number of sides. There are three sides in a triangle, namely AB, BC and CA. There are three vertices, namely A, B and C and three angles, namely angle A, angle B and angle C. Types of quadrilaterals A kite is a quadrilateral whose adjacent sides are equal, that is, AB equals to AD and BC equals to CD. Types of curves Curves can be defined as figures that follow smoothly without a break. A line is also a curve and is called a straight curve. Curves that do not intersect themselves are called simple curves. The curves which are open, 
that is, which have two end points, are called as open curves. The curves which are closed, that is, which do not have any end point, are called closed curves. A closed curve can be divided into three regions, interior, exterior and boundary of the curve. Any point lying inside the curve is said to be in the interior of the curve. Any point lying outside the curve is said to be in the exterior of the curve. Similarly, a point lying on the curve is said to be on the boundary of the curve. Here the point P lies in the interior. The point Q in the exterior and the point R on the boundary of the curve.